Yeah, all right, fuckers and fuckettes. What you're looking at here is a 77 Guzzi 850T3. And it's not one of mine, it's one that I've worked on. Um, and uh, the guy is wanting to sell it. So let me get my phone out here so I can get you all his number. <coughs> But uh, this is a very, very prime example. I did the ignition mod. Yeah, she's got dyna coils, but uh, hey, fuck it, they work, right? Um, and she's still on points. I wouldn't recommend leaving dynas on there for a daily driver, but for a weekend pop pop, they're all right. Just as a daily driver, they tend to crack, but they're a good high voltage coil, and we couldn't find any. Um, of the uh, and, uh, contacts. But uh, everything on this bike is in excellent shape. Tranny's good. Um, he's pretty anal about changing his oil on time. Carb had a little leak, um, but that was actually a leak from the petcock that was dripping down on there. That's been fixed. Um, still got the stock exhaust on her. They've been uh, repacked. Oh, come on, I gotta. I know I can get this guy's number out of here. It takes forever in this iPhone shit. I got like 50,000 contacts. Um, there he is. Okay, so that's his number. 941-830-8243. Um... I've got him in here as Goosey T3. I think his real name's Gary. Um, just call him Goosey T3, I guess. But uh, he's only won like 3500 for this bike. Let me see if I can get this camera set to where I can do a fire up on this thing. Yeah, that looks good.
You're right. Sorry about that. Dude pulled up. He was looking at it. Um, this thing, you can't take it nowhere without it attracting attention. And he's got all the lower saddlebags um, that match the fairing and everything for it. I assume they go with the bike, but I'm not really sure. you got to ask him about that. Um, but it's here at the shop if anybody wants to, uh, you know, I'll let you borrow a bore scope, compression checker, um, pretty much anything you want. You can check it out in 10 ways to Sunday. I think his price is way more than fair on this. Um, still got all the original stuff on it. The uh, engine number here does match here. Well, actually, it's on the other side and low. And the frame number, obviously, it's the same frame number. Um, fuck, it's etched right there. Uh, I did notice that the um, tack drive cable is snapped. Other than that, I haven't spotted any problems with it other than, man, this is going to take me a day or two of some polishing for him. Alright, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckheads later.